Hachi-chan saw it. I'm Tokusa. I'm a regular guy with a regular job. I currently live with my 20-year-old sister. Our dad was what you call a toxic parent. Bring me booze! Stop it! Shut up! He was an alcoholic gambler, up to his neck in debt. He was also violent and had a criminal record. Talk about a shitty dad. When I was in 12th grade... Mom! Please get a divorce already! I'm worried, and think about my sister too! But he has a gentle side too. What are you talking about? She wouldn't agree. Then, she passed away. At her funeral, my dad didn't even cry. After high school, I started working in Tokyo. I left home. I left my sister behind. I'm sorry, Tsutsuji. I'm going to Tokyo. I'm sorry I have to leave you with him. No worries, Takusa. It's just a year, right? After I graduate, I'm out of here too. A few years later, they found me pretty useful at work. They hired me as an official employee of the company. Then... It's been forever, Takusa. Tsutsuji! You made it out of that house! My sister and I started living together in a two-room apartment. Hey, did I tell you that I started working part-time? Oh? Where at? That restaurant nearby. I've already made friends, and I kind of have a crush on someone too. Later, Tsutsuji invited her boyfriend and friend over to the house. Nice to meet you. My name is Hiragi. I work with your sister. I'm Yuzuria. Welcome. Please make yourselves at home. I'm glad that she has good people around her. She's all grown up. Things were peaceful for about a year. But then... Mm. Kuroki? What's up? Uh... We just got a call from your hometown city office. <laughs> what about? Something about your dad applying for welfare? <laughs> what? That idiot! He's broke again? I thought I could forget about him once I was out in Tokyo. I had no choice. I called the city office. Hello? This is Tokusa. I heard my dad applied for welfare. Oh, so you're Takusa-san. Listen, welfare isn't free, you know. It all comes from the taxpayer's pocket. Take care of your father, will you? You're his son, aren't you? I work in Tokyo, and I don't have enough money to support my dad, and he put me through hell as a child. This is all his fault! But you're his son. You should be ashamed of yourself. I argued with the lady on the phone for more than an hour. I can't do it. I just can't! Hopefully I made myself clear. Better not show up at my doorstep. Finally got out of that shithole. Life is good right now. I won't let him ruin it! But about six months later, things started to go downhill. Sir, please stop! Tokusa! I know you're here! Dad? Hey, Tokusa! You're all grown up! My dad showed up at my work! Why are you here? How did you- The city office! They told me where you live! Anyways, you told them you weren't gonna take care of me, right? Uh. You're my son! How dare you say something like that! You should treat your dad better than that! What? You never took care of me! Why did you come here anyways? You know why! I'm broke! Just lend me some money, will you? Are you kidding? Go home! I snapped. I turned him away. <sighs> what kind of son does that? My dad went back the way he came. He just shows up like that and asks me to lend him money? What kind of person does that? But the nightmare was just getting started. He somehow managed to track me down to my house. He showed up randomly at my work and my house time after time. Tokusa! Tsutsuji! Stop being so cold! People at work gave me weird looks. I also got complaints from my neighbors. Do something, will you? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Tsutsuji, I can't take this any longer. What's the matter, Tsutsuji? I told Yuzuriya about Dad. Then she said, What kind of daughter are you? But if I let him in, he'll never leave. Your family, you're supposed to live together. My dad isn't normal. I don't want to live in debt again. It's your responsibility as his family to help him recover. She said as long as there's love, you can overcome anything. <laughs> what the? Keep dreaming. If that was true, we wouldn't be in this mess. So I asked Hideki too. I didn't want to worry him, but... But apparently, Yazuria had already told him everything. I didn't know you were such a cold-hearted person. I'm disappointed. Then he dumped me. And to make things worse, Yuzuriya and Hideki started going out. They said horrible things about me in front of my face, Han. It's not your fault, Tsutsuji. You've done nothing wrong. My sister couldn't take much more. I decided to let her rest for a while. Yuzuriya kept coming to our house with tears in her eyes, saying, are you going to abandon your dad? 
Who does that? Then she would run off. Sometimes she called my sister from an unknown number <laughs> and left messages on her voicemail saying things like, You're a terrible person. But then, something unexpected happened. Yuzuriha and my dad ran into each other in front of our house. I heard what you're going through. If you'd like, come stay with us. To my surprise, she offered to take care of my dad. I learned about this when Hiragi came to my apartment. Open up! I know you're here! Stop banging on the door! What do you want? There, he told me what happened. After you abandoned your dad, he started living at Yuzuriha's! And now he won't leave! It's your fault! Do something! What? Why would a girl in her 20s offer to take in a middle-aged guy like my dad? He makes her do everything! He beats her too! I told you so! I told you my dad was trouble, but you never listened! This is your fault, not ours! Later, I had Tsutsuji call the police. Hiragi got arrested for breaking my door. A few days later, Hiragi's parents showed up at my door and apologized. I'm so sorry for everything. Why are you apologizing? It's his responsibility as a son to take care of his dad! You be quiet! There are certain people in this world that you should stay away from at all costs, even if they're family. You're being naive! I accept your apology. Please, go home. Thank you. We're truly sorry. Hiragi's parents paid for the door and some other damages. After a while, Hiragi called me to apologize. I'm sorry about what happened the other day. After talking with my parents, I realized what I did was wrong. As long as you understand, that's fine. Thanks. And while all this was happening, my dad was still squatting at Yuzuriya's house. I wonder if she's okay. I feel bad, but it's her own fault. She's a young girl he could take advantage of. There was no way my dad was going to leave anytime soon. Then, I called the city office to file a complaint. Why did you tell my dad my address? Aren't you a public servant? You caused me a lot of trouble! Next time, I'm going to take this to court! I think they got the message. They never called again. I don't know what happened to Yuzuriha after that. We're talking about my dad here. He might have gotten her parents involved, too. I feel bad, but nobody asked her to take care of him. It was her own fault. It'll take a lot of work to run away from him. But I heard a rumor that some loan sharks showed up at Yuzuriha's apartment and took my dad away. Good riddance, I guess. Later, I got a different job. My sister quit her job, too, and moved so my dad couldn't find us again. No more, right? Yeah, things will be nice and peaceful from now on. Finally, my sister and I got our dad out of our lives. We can now move on. ご視聴いただきありがとうございました。人の家庭問題って赤の他人が入れるものじゃないですし、解決するのは難しいですよね。愛があれば乗り越えられるとか本気で言っていたのかもしれませんけど、ドラマに影響でもされてたんでしょう